Hey there, guys. So, I know what you're thinking. What was she thinking with those rollers in her head and that leopard print robe on? But I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking, I've been sitting under this dryer an hour and a half, and I really want to do this video, and I'm not done sitting under the dryer, so I can't take the rollers out, and I can't just do the video later because I don't have time. Because like a lot of you, I have things to do. I am exhausted, literally. I I don't know where I even find the energy to do this, but after writing clinical notes today and running around with Quran today and washing clothes to pack for this trip that we're taking in, in three days to Boston, I'm so tired. I am literally drinking coffee right now at 7.50 in the evening. So just forgive me for my rollers, and I know... I know that I probably remind a lot of you of Benita Betrayal and In Living Color. Remember uh, when Kim Wayans' character used to do Benita Betrayal and she'd be hanging, like, clothes up on the line, talking about, you ain't heard that from me and Miss Jenkins and all that. So I know that's what I look like. So um, it doesn't bother me. But I definitely wanted to uh, address this article that I just wrote about meeting people where they are. And this was so important just to do a video because I was feeling very passionate just now about it. I was talking to a friend of mine, and she was basically telling me about something going on in her job and a less than ideal situation. I think she was accused of, you know, handling a situation the wrong way with a coworker, and a lot of accusations came flying at her. And we were just talking about the best way to resolve issues like that. We got into talking about family members, and I started thinking about uh, a couple friends of mine who recently, um, you know, have told me about issues that they've been having with their mothers, and um, me and my mother talk all the time about the fact that we've come so far, but um, I also do remember telling my mother one day when I started accepting her for who she was and meeting her where she was, instead of expecting her to act the way I wanted her to act, then we started to have less problems. And this is something I have really begun in the past, I don't know, six months to apply to my relationships with different people, whether it's like friendships, romantic relationships, uh, your cousin, your brother, your sister, your mother, whatever. Um, but if you realize that if you meet people where they are, um, then you'll have a lot less stress in your life. Um, there is a friend of mine who I just feel like she never calls me. I always reach out to her. And when I started accepting her and meeting her where she was, I stopped caring so much about the fact that she never called because I stopped calling. I mean, I was literally meeting her where she was. And one day out of the blue I heard from her and she asked me why she hadn't talked to me in so long. And I thought that was hilarious. Um, that's whatever. That's in the past. So um, I wasn't going to cry over spilled milk and start talking to her about how I was meeting her where she was. I mean, I'm sure she figured out why I stopped calling. So... I just wanted to, like I said, do this video because this was something that I was passionate about at the moment, and I really think about this every day in my interaction with people, and it really helps me to remain sane, to keep my sanity, not to worry about what other people are thinking and why are they acting the way that they do. I mean, who cares? That's up to them. It's their responsibility. And as I've said before in another article I wrote, just because somebody's acting ugly doesn't mean I'm going to act ugly as well. So that's not really in my DNA anymore at this point. Um... I just feel like once I hit 30, I started realizing things that weren't working for me. And if there are some things that aren't working for you as far as the choices that you're making and the relationships that you have, I would definitely encourage you to meet people where they are, honey, and you'll probably be a lot happier, okay? So that's all I'm going to leave with you today. I'll see you guys later. Bye.